Hello, my name is Moderate Robert, and I'm gonna try to make this channel as uh, ideology free as possible. This does not mean that I not gonna talk about things that uh, you know threaten the liberty in the United States, and to me, the liberty, the definition of the liberty, is. Uh, uh, democracy and free market. Today I want to celebrate with you my first 100 day streak on Duolingo. 100 day streak in Spanish. As you can see, I am definitely not a polyglot, and I am definitely not gifted when it comes to languages. Just getting to this point with English took me many, many years of living in the United States. Granted that I was 18 years old and finished my puberty when I came here. Still, many people do much better learning foreign languages than I do. Let's view it as a uh, case, single case experiment. Let's see how a person who, like me, is anti-gifted when it comes to learning of foreign languages gonna learn through hard work and I'm gonna try at least five days a week for every one of those days to score at least 100 points of Duolingo not points from the stories but just points from learning the language Spanish language and uh, also I'm gonna do two lessons on SpanishDictionary.com and uh, I also gonna do two lessons which should be the same lessons essentially from Anna from YouTube Butterfly Spanish and let's see how fast will I progress each hundred days because I'm gonna continue this streak till at least thousand days so every hundred days I will have an update for you on my progress in Spanish and also from time to time I'm gonna have an update for you on my progress in American English as well as other videos but uh, I will talk about it at the end of this presentation not now should I even be learning Spanish when my American English is not perfect well my American English may never be totally perfect and Spanish should motivate me to sacrifice as much time towards improving my American English as I sacrifice towards learning Spanish. As I said before, I'm not going to be just using Duolingo and uh, Duolingo on its own is not enough. In the end, the proof is in the pudding. You're going to have to speak with native speakers of the language and see how you do and uh, you can take it from there and grow so Duolingo on its own is definitely not enough you have to get some more grammar than just the tips in the lessons and you wanna also speak the language that you need not the language that is being served to you for example you know depends where you work if you work on a construction site with some people who speak only Spanish then you wanna speak Spanish that is relevant to the construction site 